Hello and welcome, I'm Pater Nuez Makel and this is your Noontime Wrap. A social weather station survey shows a three-way tie for the three top contenders for the presidency. Senator Grace Poe, Vice President Jejo Marbinay, and Administration Standard Bearer Mar Rojas. It's a statistical tie, with her numbers crisscrossing at 23 percentage points. The three-point error margin puts post numbers within 23 to 29 percentage points, B9 from 21 to 27 percentage points, and Rojas from 17 to 23 percentage points. This is the first time SWS released a breakdown of its presidential poll to show the top pick of correspondence. <laughs> President Benigno Aquino says Vice President Jejo Marbinay did nothing as housings are. In a television interview, Aquino says, quote, I have yet to see anything that he did as head of the housing sector. Binay led key agencies like the National Housing Authority, the Home Guarantee Corporation, and the Home Development Mutual Fund or Pag-ibig Fund. This comes as Binay slid from second to third place in the latest SWS preferential polls behind Senator Grace Poe and Administration Standard Bearer Mar Rojas. On the maritime issues, Aquino also jokes about China's disputed territorial claims and praises its regional rival Japan. In his interview with ANC, Aquino says, quote, The joke then was that China was saying, what is ours is ours, what is yours we share. He praises Japan for passing a controversial law easing restrictions on its military. This opens up the possibility it could fight abroad for the first time since World War II. <laughs> German auto giant Volkswagen reveals 11 million of its cars worldwide have devices that can cheat pollution tests. Volkswagen chief executive Martin Winterkorn offers his deepest apologies as the United States opens a criminal probe. The German firm halts all diesel vehicle sales in the U.S. during the probe, which could lead to fines amounting to a maximum of $18 billion. <laughs> And that's the Noontime Wrap. I'm Pater Nuez Makil. Join us again at 6 p.m. for today's top news.